First, have you seen the film yet? I have. What's it like seeing yourself portrayed up on the big screen? <laughs> it's, but it's, it's fun as well, you know, when it's this good. I mean, it's, you know, it's, uh, have you seen the film? No, not yet, sir. Have you seen it? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful film, I think, and not a, a lot of writers or books are going to say that um, about uh, the book coming to the screen. And I just think that uh, Paul McGuigan has made this incredible film and the performances, Annette Benning, hey, Annette Benning, and, and, and Jamie Bell, I mean, together, it's this kind of sizzling on screen romance of, of this unusual romance, this kind of big age difference of just people who are just, you know, um, belong to each other. I mean, how, how closely did you work with Jamie, if at all, in the kind of when he was crafting the character? Ask me that question. <laughs> we didn't. I mean, Jamie and I just kind of sat down together at dinner with you know, some people. I just like knew, and he knew too, and he. Uh, it, we were just kind of. It was fun. We just sort of. And there was no conversation. I just said, "Go for it," and uh, and uh, we met a few times, but we didn't really kind of talk about it because I just knew that he was going to be incredible. And, uh, and, and he is. So it's when you're watching the film back, do you see it as your story being told or do you almost see it like a fiction piece of... No, I see it as my story being told, actually. It's a very faithful adaptation. And I'm very lucky that you know, uh, the screenwriter who, who came on Mac Greenhouse has done a wonderful job. But, and he kept, he was very brave, and you know, he kept a lot of you know, dialogues from the book, scenes from the book. Of course, all the characters are the same. So it's the same story, and it's kind of told in a different medium. As a writer, I write quite visually, and he writes cinematically. You know, we met only once, actually. We talked a lot on the phone. Again, everything kind of just like fell into place with this. It's, um, a lot of it is kind of trust and kind of intuition and understanding. And Matt and I were both from the north of England. We share the same kind of sense of humor. You know, like the same kind of you know, tennis kind of uh, players, like the same kind of football and... Everton or Liverpool? I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. I, get, I come from a huge family and I'll get into big trouble <laughs> if I say the wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, it's One of my nephews is a big football guy over there, <laughs> so I better not say anything. It, it, must be, it must be quite moving, though, watching this back as well. Do you get quite sort of emotionally overwhelmed when you're sitting there? Yeah. Yes, I do. It, um, uh, the first time I watched it was very overwhelming, and uh, I saw it with Paul and Barbara Broccoli, and we all cried together. And, uh, but like watching it now, I've seen it kind of several times now, and there's always something that gets me. And they, oh no, not this time, I'm not going to cry this time, I don't need the hanky. And then, you know, suddenly it's... <laughs> and I'm in bits, there's always something that, you know... That You'll probably cry again tonight. Well, thank you so much for your time. Much appreciated. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!